Star Wars. Marvel. Mecca. And more. This is Star Wars and me. Hello guys, welcome back to our Star Wars figure review for this Star Wars figure review. I have the very cool uh, Joker Squad bag that I got from a friend in Australia. And uh, yeah, really, really thankful to them too for sending me out this bag. Um, so yeah, let's just start the review. So uh, we'll show the box first. You can see it's Legacy Collection 2008 packaging, um, which is like pretty cool. Uh, they had like Crimson Empire pack as well, I believe. That was a pretty cool pack. But, um, this is Joker Squad. And you have, you have the Entertainment Earth exclusive sticker here. And then you have all the names of the figures. You have Joker Squad includes Lord Malaval, Sergeant Harkas, Anson Trosk, Jess, Gisang, Hondo, Car, and Vex, Boater. So, so that's basically it for the front. And then on the back, you have this real nice image of the comic book. Um, and, uh, this Lord Melville and the Joker Squad are featured in the Dark Horse comic, uh, Source Legacy number 4. That's, that's what it says on the packaging. So, uh, you got that, and then you see all the figures with the names. So, yeah, pretty cool. And then as you can see here, as seen in Dark Horse Source Legacy number 4. And then you have Legacy Collection. <clears throat> so we'll end the description, which I will read. And says, Stormtroopers of the 407th Division, Division, well, Anson Trask, Sergeant Hyrakus, Jess Gisting, Hondo Carr, and Vax Potter are sent to take down one of their own. The 908th Division, division is going to defect to former Emperor Fell's side against the current Sith regime. The 407th is ordered to stop them, and Sith Lord Malfell joins them to ensure they finish the job. Trask's first mission as a stormtrooper challenges his ideals as well as his courage and has dire consequences for the rest of Joker squad as well. So, it's basically what it says here. Just want to pause that and read it. So, yeah. It's basically it for the packaging. And let's just start to review. Let's start with, um, with the leader of the uh, stormtroopers, which is Sergeant Harkass. And here he is. Real cool figure. Uh, of course, I was the most excited for Lord Malvel in this pack, but the stormtroopers aren't bad at all. Real like those. Um, so as you can see, real cool figure. Basically, all stormtroopers are the same, but Sergeant Harkas, um, of course, since he's the leader, he has the yellow markings on his uh, both arms and also on the glove here. Uh, so that's really cool. The rest is just the same articulation, same body, but just all different heads. But, um, so yeah. And as you can see, the head sculpt is pretty cool on this one. Really like it. And uh, I never read the comic, so I can't really tell if, the, if they did a good representation of the uh, character in the comic book, but in my opinion, this looks great, so. And, uh, like every Stormtrooper in this pack, he comes with a blaster. And, a, of course, a Stormtrooper helmet. So yeah, we got that. Uh, you can't really say anything else about this figure. It's just plain white armor with the yellow stripes, uh, but with a real cool head sculpt, like I said. And then, uh, of course, articulation-wise, he has a ball joint head, ball and shoulders, ball and elbows, swivel wrist, uh, ball joint torso, which I do like. Uh, these are uh, swivel hips, ball and knees, and ball and ankles. So really well articulated for stormtrooper and. Um, Good thing about these figures, I thought they were just uh, retoolings of the 30th anniversary Stormtrooper figure, but um, what they don't have is the terminal detonator won't detach from the belt, so that's great, in my opinion, really good. Uh, also, something else that I really like, uh, with regular Stormtroopers, you have the, the holster for the blaster is black, here with all these stormtroopers it's white I really like that I think it's black with other ones I think so <laughs> um, but yeah so like I said real cool 
So after all, this is this is actually a really cool pack. Even the stormtroopers are really cool in my opinion. But um, yeah, so that's uh, Sergeant Harkas. And uh, like I said, it's basically all the same for the other stormtroopers. Let's take a look at um, Hondo Car. Really cool. That head sculpt looks great. It kind of reminds me uh, of Luke in a, in a lot of ways, actually. And the longer blonde hair and so, but so yeah. Uh, he comes with an extra accessory, which is a knife, as you can see. And of course, also uh, his blaster and a stormtrooper helmet. Uh, what I did is just, I, you just have to put the Stormtrooper helmet over the thermal detonator since they don't detach. It's great to put them there. So yeah, and like uh, Sergeant Harkas, he has a ball joint head, ball and sh shoulders, ball and sh elbow swivel, wrists, uh, ball and joint, torso swivel, hips, ball and sh knees and ball and sh ankles. And for the rest, just a regular Stormtrooper body. So, not a lot you can tell about this one, but like I said, Real cool head sculpt. <clears throat> so we got that one, and then we got uh, another one, which is which is uh, Anson Trask. Real cool as well. He he only comes with a blaster and a stormtrooper helmet, but the head sculpt once again is different. So yeah, real like that. But once again, articulation is the same, the armor is the same, there's just not a lot to take and tell. Uh, this one also has the uh, the pouch for the blaster, or the holster that is. So yeah, that's uh, Anson Trask. And then we have a uh, last uh, male stormtrooper, which is Vax Potor. Just have to look at the box for names because they're, they're, I can't just... I can't um, remember those. Real cool, it's a bald stormtrooper. And also he comes with a blaster and a stormtrooper helmet. Also the uh, pouch here. And I think Hasbro did a fantastic job on the head sculpts. I, like I said, I didn't read the comics, but uh, I probably should read the comics, but um, they look great in my opinion. Uh, maybe gonna look for some images later to find out how they look in the comics, so, you know, if it's a good representation. But uh, once again, this cool head sculpt. So this is uh, Vax Potor. Vax Potor. And then, the last figure, Stormtrooper figure that is, is a, a female Stormtrooper. Real cool to have a female Stormtrooper. And she is called Jazz Gistang. Really cool. I really like the red lipstick they did on that one. And then the nice pink, pink hair, not pink, uh, kind of red hair, real cool. And uh, she's the only Stormtrooper figure that doesn't have a pouch on the side for, for uh, holding the holster, but yeah. But she also comes with like a blaster, of course, a blaster, and a Stormtrooper helmet. And again, same articulation for this one, uh, although there's, a, there's of course, this is in a different body, as you can see. This is uh, a female body suit for a stormtrooper. It's a lot thinner. The hands are real nicely done, it's just smaller than a regular stormtrooper and everything. They did a great job on this figure. I don't think... I think this is the only stormtrooper, female stormtrooper figure we've ever gotten. And I really like this one. So yeah. Uh, of course, she also comes with another accessory, which is, uh, what is this, kind of a, a firing, kind of torpedo launch thing, I'm uh, not sure what it is, but uh, it's a good thing that Hasbro didn't decide to include a firing missile in this, so as you can see, it's real cool. No firing missile is great, uh, I really like this weapon, it's a little bit too big for her hands, but you know, not a problem. So yeah, that's that. And uh, now, of course, the last figure from this pack, which is the uh, the Sith Lord, Lord uh, Malaval. Malaval. Just a great looking figure. It's just uh, a regular squid head, hat, 
the head from a squid head, uh, but then painted in red, really cool. Um, as you can see, the detail on this one is great, really like it, and the head sculpt is great as well. So yeah, get the really cool looking head sculpt, does come with a lightsaber, his own unique lightsaber, and he comes with a whip. As you can see in his hand right here and which is uh, the upper parts of it is detachable there you go I don't know why they did this um, it's kind of lame in my opinion because uh, it falls off easy so but the wire is just also just really flimsy it's just you you just hope this won't break or so because otherwise you don't have the wire and all but yeah so this is the whip he has and uh, the last accessory for him is his cape, uh, which is kind of a uh, cape like we got with Darth Malgus. It's It has a wire attached in the cape, so you can pose that around his head and everything. Uh, so you can easily remove this cape. Let's just do that. As you can see, it has this wire inside here, also here. Uh, the difference with this one and uh, Darth Malgus is cape is this one works. <laughs> uh, Darth Malgus escape doesn't work at all in my opinion just really bad but this one does work it it holds real nice to the figure and everything. Yeah it's just cape and then underneath uh, his cape of course you get to see his awesome armor look which I think looks great. As you can see in the middle you got this big eye really cool So you got that. This is just a lot of detail on the armor. Kind of reminds me like a medieval knight or so, um, which is real cool. Uh, I heard the shoulder plates do fall off a lot. I didn't have a problem yet, but uh, I I think they look cool as well. So yeah, got that. And then uh, I think underneath his skirt, which uh, he has a soft good skirt here and a plastic piece on front here um, so yeah and uh, underneath you don't have like a lot of detail but you just have his spoots so yeah that's that just get that right um, and then of course like I said great looking figure just that head sculpt looks great on the back as well And the articulation for this guy, he has a ball joint head, ball and shoulders, ball and elbows, full wrists, uh, a, just a swivel torso, swivel hips, ball and knees, and ball and ankles. So really well articulated for a sit figure. And really glad to add this one to my Expand Universe collection. Uh, unfortunately, he is the only one from the entire pack that I can put on my Expand Universe shell because it's so cluttered with figures and just can't put the other ones in there but um other than that great pack great pack real glad that I got it finally got it um so uh, yeah it's basically it for this review and I, I hope you guys enjoyed this review on the Joker Squad figure pack from the Legacy Collection and uh, we'll be back with some more reviews very soon so until then keep collecting and may the force be with you bye